Thank you so much, Matt. Now it's 6.15, and one of the most popular places to spend a hot summer day in this area is on the Madison River. Be it fishing or floating, thousands of people enjoy the slow float in Bear Trap Canyon. And in This Week in Fish and Wildlife, Chet Lehman talks to Fish, Wildlife, and Parks about the reality of maintaining a spot that might be coming loved to death. This Week in Fish and Wildlife, sponsored by your local Montana Toyota dealers. Thursday morning time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Uh, we're on the road this morning at Black's Fork. Joining us this morning, uh, Jay Poppy. Jay, this might be the most loved part uh, feature uh, in Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. It's the pullout for those floaters on the Madison. Uh, let's talk about uh, this last week, and we had a lot of heat and uh, the reality of what life is like here. Yeah, well, the, the hot weekend brought out the floaters um, en masse. Uh, we were well overrun with, with floaters. We had cars parked down the Madison River Road is about as far as the eye could see. Mm -hmm. um, dumpsters overflowing. Uh, latrines are mostly full now. We've got to get those pumped right away. So uh, it's a great site. It's a well-loved site, but um, in some cases we're, we're loving it to death and it's hard for us to keep up with the maintenance. You folks have put a lot into this. You talk about gar uh, garbage, uh, you know, that pickup. Uh, last year building the new latrine, the latrines here. Let's just talk a little bit about the cost that it takes to maintain this. Yeah, so last, uh, actually in the fall of 2016, we installed um, two new double vaulted latrines, which doubled our capacity. Mm -hmm. um, that um, and the parking pad facility there for, um, uh, for uh, handicap accessible mm -hmm. folks or, or special needs folks, um, that, that upgrade cost us $83,000 in total. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, we uh, also provide uh, dumpsters here uh, to help uh, facilitate mm -hmm. trash removal. Um, and uh, the dumpster use, uh, we pay about $1,600 a month mm -hmm. uh, to have those dumpsters removed. Um, and they're full every weekend. Oftentimes they're overflowing. If you come by here on a Sunday night, there's more trash outside the dumpster than inside the dumpster. The, the interesting thing about it, one of the uh, attractive features is in Madison is it's close to town, easy to get to. There is no fee for that. The reality, though, is somebody's paying for all of this, and you've got an interesting dilemma with that. This money that comes to do all of that work not coming from the floaters. No, it's not. You know, the um, the fishing access program, uh, which is this is part of, you know, was was intended to you know provide access for anglers to, to get to the water and, and fish our great rivers. But um, uh, lots of other people use that, and um, anglers through license sales, they're they're funding all of that. Mm -hmm. This particular area is also. Um, uh, we receive a lot of funding from Northwest Energy um, mm -hmm. due to the dam down up, upstream there, but uh, um, uh, the, the users that are the bulk of the use at this particular site aren't necessarily contributing. In fact, right here we've got a donation box mm -hmm. um, where folks can contribute money if they, they're so inclined, and last year we received about 40 bucks in that. Uh, $83,000 in latrine and handicap parking, and you receive $40 from floaters. That's correct. Yeah, this is your opportunity. This is right here. This is a great opportunity. This is a resource that's not a finite. I mean, it's not going to be here if we don't take care of it. Absolutely. I mean, it's just getting harder and harder to keep up with with the use. Like I said, you know, we, we love to see people here enjoying it, but um, uh, you know, some folks aren't as conscientious as the others, and and that creates a lot of havoc for us. Uh, I think people have under really understood what it takes to maintain these sites and, and keep them available and open and accessible to, to everybody um, you know we'd like to see a little more uh, care taken in that way that'd be perfect again uh, jay poppy joining us this morning big yellow sign right here when you pull off the uh, madison of blacks ford uh, one way that uh, you can help out here uh, with the uh, the cost of maintaining the site jay thank you very much absolutely thank you this week in fish and wildlife was brought to you by toyota let's go places